Curtis Ellis is on the line with us. Curtis Ellis is a, uh, a, a conservative. He's the cons- communications director of Obama Trade, the executive director of the American Jobs Alliance. Obamatrade.com is the website. You can tweet him at Curtis Ellis, E-L-L-I-S, C-U-R-T-I-S, E-L-L-I-S. And Curtis, welcome back to the program. Uh, nice to be here, Tom. Nice to have you with us. Um, so, uh, first of all, I know you. We had originally scheduled you for two o'clock or for one o'clock Eastern time, the top of the hour, and and uh, you were on hold when Bernie was on. I was. I'm curious, as as a conservative, uh, if you had any thoughts on what Senator Sanders had to say. Well, he's been hitting the message on these crummy trade deals very hard, and I think that is probably the uh, along with campaign organization and the, the nuts and bolts of getting voters to the polls. I think his message about these crummy trade deals uh, is is key to understanding his upset victory in Michigan yesterday. I agree. Uh, he has been outspoken about this. I uh, have to give credit where credit's due. He has voted against every single trade deal in uh, in history that's ever come before America so while he was in Congress. Right. And uh, this uh, is, is, is a weakness for Hillary Clinton. Uh, if Bernie Sanders or and Donald Trump, or Bernie Sanders is going to be head-to-head in the primary if uh, Donald Trump makes it into the general election. And he goes into Ohio and reminds the voters of Ohio that jobs they once had that are now in China or Mexico, uh, it's a direct result of something, uh, of, of policies instituted by somebody named Clinton. Well, uh, Bill, for, to be fair, Curtis, Bill Clinton signed that bill, but the majority of the votes in both the House and the Senate for NAFTA were Republican votes. Your side. Well, certainly. It was a great innovation of Bill Clinton and Tony Coelho, who was uh, in the Congress at the time. Their great innovation was, let's suck up to Wall Street and get their money and institute uh, the the financialist, globalist policies that previously had been the uh, domain of uh, the Republican establishment. Yeah, this uh, Nixon Nixon kind of started it. We're going to be their whores, too. Yeah. Yeah, a bad choice of words, but I, you know, yeah, I don't, I don't disagree, and and that that's my point. I think that that elite consensus, that uh, particularly with regard to trade, that that Nixon started trying to open China on behalf of Pepsi, um, Reagan stepped up, and then you know Clinton with NAFTA, and and now President Obama with TPP. I, I don't think the American people are there, and I and I think that a large part of Bernie's uh, success has had to do with that. Without talking about Bernie, though, what what are you hearing from conservatives? Uh, I know your Obamatrade.com website is quite active among conservative uh, folks. Um, what are you hearing, and are you hearing anything? I mean, Donald Trump seems to be the only guy who's talking about trade on uh, among the Republican candidates. Uh, are they still, uh, do they have their head in the sand? Are they being bought off? Do they believe this uh, theology? What's what's the deal? Well, I had to tell you, if I had to pick one candidate to be talking about it, I, I couldn't pick a better one than Trump. He's got the biggest megaphone out there. But, yeah. Um, look, a lot of these fellows in Congress, nobody in Congress has an appetite to take this on. Nobody has an appetite to take on the Trans-Pacific but, but Trump has been calibrating his message. I mean, he started out saying, blow up the trade deals, which is Bernie's position, just walk away from all of them. And now he's saying, I'm just going to renegotiate them. Do you trust that? I don't. Well, he's saying that, uh, that we need fair trade, we need balanced trade, we need, uh, we're getting eaten alive by China and Mexico. All true. I, I take him at his word. He's been saying this for 25 years. Uh, there was an interesting uh, interview with uh, one of these Disney workers who was replaced by an H-1B visa. And he, he says, uh, I've heard this before. Uh, not, he wasn't referring to Donald Trump specifically, but it, can, uh, it, it could be applied to Bernie Sanders as well as uh, there is a, I think it, it, it's healthy to have skepticism. Look, all candidates, a lot of candidates, including Hillary Clinton, including Bill Clinton in 92, said, oh, yeah, you know, I'm on the side of the workers, and we're going to make sure that these things work for Americans. And then they come up with some big leaf of a side letter, uh, say, yeah, we renegotiated it. And they hadn't, they didn't, and it's not good for the workers. So uh, we, we have to hold all these politicians to their promise that nobody, I have not heard anyone happy cannon speak out as strongly against these trade deals as uh, as donald trump has yeah the question in my mind is is this the failure of good intentions or was this a setup from the get-go i don't know the answer to that um anyhow curtis ellis uh, obamatrade.com thank you curtis